On 28th December 2021 at 4:20 p.m., author Kakwenza Ruchirabasheja posted on his Twitter that he was under house arrest and gunmen were breaking into his home. Outside his gate, security operatives were actually waiting in various vehicles. When they hit the burglar proof and broke it for the window and they entered, they started punching me in the stomach and kicking me and, you know, hitting me with the gun butts. His back, arms, legs were also beaten, but since he was not saying much, they resorted to using pliers. They were getting pliers and they, they, they pluck flesh from my thighs everywhere. As you have seen the scars all over my body, the matological ulcerations. That day I, I, I thought that I, would die, I was dying and that is the day I thought of denouncing my Ugandan citizenship. His hands too were not spared. So they made me stand in front of a camera and apologize to Muhozi and Museven. He asked me to apologize and indeed I, because I had nothing to do. I was dying. At this point, the Western community began to intensify pressure to have Kakwenza produced in court or released, which prompted his tormentors to start treating his wounds. But while there, a doctor came and checked on him. The doctor who did a manual examination on my body, afterwards, I had, he stepped out, I had him speak on phone, I don't know whom he was talking to, I was like, this man is not fine, we should not keep him here, he's not fine, I had him say he's not fine like five times. That at around 3 a.m. Kakwenza was taken to his home in Niganga and asked never to tell what he went through. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hello everyone, are you ready? Should it begin? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, what if I told you that the man you have just watched with the zebra-like body is one of the luckiest men in Uganda? I know, it sounds weird considering how much he was tortured by the government, but maybe that is why I should tell you this short story. You see, my name is Father Meon Sobuga and I was born in Uganda, a country that was told to us in theory as a pal of Africa, maybe because we were surrounded by the beautiful nature. Until we grew up, of course, and realized that the beautiful nature we were so proud of, like our forests, are now being auctioned to the highest bidder. We were also told that we will be the leaders of tomorrow until we realized that as other children in other countries, are adding value to their nations, are preparing for their future. Most children in Uganda fight for survival and prepare for their funerals. Wow. But of course, you can indeed skip most kinds of violence from the government if you accept the following. One, if you are okay with giving birth in a hospital that has no equipment as government officials are taking their children in the outside countries to give birth. If you are okay to live in a country where corruption is turning into a religion, you will survive. And if you are okay and defend people who chose to individualize the system to work for a limited few other than fighting for a system that would work for all Ugandans, you will survive. What I'm trying to say, if you are okay with being a hypocrite. You see, Uganda is a country where parents pray every day when their children leave home. Oh my God, dear God, I pray. Omwana wange, not because there is a fight, but because a soldier is just looking for who to shoot. It's, Uganda is a country where children pray for their mothers and fathers. Why? Because we have bored security forces who can indeed abduct those parents. 
on trumped up charges just like this father bamwa ductinga ne bamuwamba ne bamu chuto challenge banga na agenda okudanga makagu nagasasise chain you on with the two cuffs on the hands and then they tether with the chain the legs and then they they, they pass this chain around your side that the, the maximum you can see is like this you have to be squatting like this and if you eat you have to fall down on your sides this is why you see these black spots here you, you have to squat into it like a dog you cannot sit you cannot stand and i spent 72 days in that posture of torture and this is why you see these black spots here you have to lie down on the ground and eat like a dog Ah, gamiti ya masajaba kawula Mbiya sanga musefa usi chengila batu kano kumusiba mainja Kumitundi vicha mwano kutusuru wa liru Tatiri ranga Badi ya mainja asatu lika mkavira Na asuwa mbwati ya mkazito Ina nyambu ya mwezo nina Ina unikunje gede, unikunje gede Na asuwa kubuza See that? That is why I said Kakwenza was lucky You see Kakwenza was tortured on the orders Of a man who most people call a general Mohoz Kainerugaba, who indeed I call a Twitter general, a man who I call aka baby dictator, aka office messenger to his mother, of course, who is also the minister of education and first lady. Wow, Wurira Katogo, aka the man who cannot differentiate between fear and respect which is why yeka stomo ogera ko echimwanguira kukuchunya kukufura ombiri gufana nengo gwaka kwenza mbo abalala balabiro ko you see uganda is a country where if what you call patrokas ezandi badezi yamba abantu zandi badezi leta safety ku makubo bwe kusanga ku kubo e kutomera and waberawo wa police obambega aba following mufo chokuro ndawo as a human being bakulinya ko bulinyi you see why i said he was lucky because when you sit down I remember things like ngo musajja go basanga mu nimira iti wa semfuka ne bamutwala ne bamuchunya ne bamuteka ko pasi not because i know musango go yakozi but because they wanted him to accept nti yata Felix Kawesa bobala banga amazi ganjo keza ninga te bawe wedde ne balita pasi awo nyini iza amasanyalazi bango lwa marojite kamu bwate mu soketi ne buguma nibajireta mpaka wano njiwe bambuza anti echi chichi nembale ndize mpula chintu chibuguma nibambuza anti pasi ojimanyi nibaga anti njimanyi tikatino yeye pasi nibajiteka wano nibajiteka wano kumukono nibateka wano nibateka na wano mbuli wege nde vau no uliva ah, yu neba kulira nibantu wala kumasanyalazi nibadira obu waya nibabuteka mbusajia buwangi nisa vila wawo duwana nganti katora wangu sabu mtu wale ngu nisini nika sasa switchinga onu wali Nempuli yanga musisi sadda mukutegera omukuru owa police go bachi usago bajja ko mwandi kayihura nze na yogera ko ndai yajja enalufenya ne banzi jaisa wazalinga bwalinga munana musangu ogwechiro ne bantu ala mu maso be nambuza disebo mukuru semfuka omanyi obata omanyi ne mugamba anti kumanyi nambuza omanyi de mu chitichi ne mugati kumanyi ngo omukuru wa police nangamba anti Omanyi kubantu abataka wesi nemugamba simanyi omanyi ku ruwenda lwonna olwali ko kuvuga anti kawesi wamanyako nemugamba simanyi nangamba dikendeta aga chilichimu njagalo kirije nganya gamba omukuru wa police guba um the saddest thing of all this e ya mukaka kale kaihura ya kwati we byechi sale natebwa ali wakali mukuriya bibumba era awera anti bamuleke bamwesonyi can you imagine that you see in uganda when you are so rich and they realize that you're innocent zivata gara nyobe irina zo you can indeed turn into men like the Greenland bank man, you can indeed turn like men like or no. They abducted him, they tortured him, and 
in return ba mugamba to waste sent to you kitu kuti can you imagine that police uh, of course the, the the section of flying squad plus um, some elements in ISO and CMI they get to know people who have got money and that's the lead they follow to kidnap you and if you don't give them money either you are dead or you are released some people say we have a central police station but what people don't know it's neku central police station waringa over wachari wo we were to Niza, Gogenda Wongoro, Ogenda de Wo, Kufuna, Buddha Mu, Ovacuyambi Wa. It's also part of a torture chamber. Now, as you can see, the history of torture in Uganda ever since this government came is there. Teva. Which means it takes you to go packa. But you cut your nyango limu vubuka ngaka kwenza. But you cut your nyango limu kade ngo muami oyo. But you cut your nyango limu nemiro limu charo. But you cut your nyanga tobiri kongo ganze. Sibiri kwa ya politics. Because same fuka te ya biri kwa. But until we realize. Nutani kwa kutuare ebi nitu ebi priority as a priority. Nutani kwa kutamu za information ye tu gasa o kusome sabantu wa firu wachi government ways it is ino kufambu inza. Wachi system zina kukole labantu. Abantu ne mutaba wana mbu oyogora wa ya tuwa labantu ewa sare. Nga mwemula bachechi singo kubwe chikuru. Abantu ne, ne muta si wanga Bande yo inayo mujasi yo na goma njiba tomu wana wangi You don't need that if a system is working properly Ne mwe ne mubeira na abantu Ne mubeira echokura vila kutunuli le bijambia Back in the days Baku ata ne bala gabana Ntibano bawe wa sento kutemula abantu ne bijambia Mbo ya bawa sente yono Until a few months later, Abana ni bavu ni baga baba kaka bukas. Accused the police under the former IGP Jen Karikayura of using them and dumping them after achieving their goal of misleading the public. Kama fufa sala kutoko yesanga, chinga 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 bopira, kama kwa sano sura au, baadhi kama mtu ya web baadhi kama mpana na tibike, tumolo mi dize, gote la wanako, masaka kwa bagama, sige na kwa masaka. At the April 2017 press conference, Suleiman Asim and Juma Mulindua freely explained how they used to butcher people with punks. Now, they have two members of parliament Beba gama ntikati bebali ya mabiga uo kutege vijambia Ukuli machibi na mazika gagala kumpitamu Sia nze segiri nyo wabuli jogi mamanyi Na ye buenfunye chupapula chino Na mazika katika mpitemu kubanga Na kwa miyoru na kuruwa jio Ukuwe Netherlands Siba deo Na vijambia ebanga Jibiba deo nga mbiraba kwa social media Na chitundu chabidimu Sikimanyi Kati buo mpita mubi ntunga binonunga antisegiri nya jangu nyo nyore Echikuwa tagana nebi jambi ya chesi manji na ko Nze nyino mutima saga na suswa na kusala na koko Nebu enda ba aino okunyigirizi wako na Ulaba anga segiri nya nkaba Ntambula nengia na nkola zikialitiz mubantu wabali obubi Actual wala bebi jambi ya Bade abantu wa faba beba temye Obaba mo family za sanyi u Biade banku tekona nyo Nga nganti kwenye nether and zi At least family zo zi za Eza kwa sedu wa bantu bazo Nzi tuwa ili ukaunga kubijanjaro Kati ngambi ya singolo mba Guess what Echine unisanti nejiba va Machi indie obeka wempi Bebaba deba kwa lida bantu wawe No one is asking about them No one Oli ya bazimbi le duwa lido no, kubantu beka wembe wana beko mtu yenari kukubo mbuye karakasi. You know why? Because people are used to this kind of treatment. Mboba kiliza, ntichiri wako mtu wakumuchu nya, kastadja kuvayo. Ni wana vayo nge chigere bachitemi yako, so okay. Allah, wakima. Ladies and gentlemen, 
the day you will realize that freedom is a right, not a luxury. The day you will realize that to live in an uncomfortable situation, no sirika, sitia akabi, the day you will wake up or I didn't see you. The day you will realize ntiamo be muti jisanti ono celebrity wange nti simanyo ono gundi wange nti ono gundi wange na yenga basirikanga abantu abana bakwatibwa vujjo kutegira nti nawe uona kwatibwa celebrity goba dogendo okusasuliranga mu chivulu era jja kusirika awo no we mbagambira tukwatire wamu mukutambuze ebintu ebigase gwanga so, ebiga saba anto kuchuse gwanga Other than yukutambu zanga kasasiro Tukuatile wa muu Okuongero okulaga abantu Nti abantu nga muhozi Tebaina kabu ntu Kumangi singo kwe unisa. Right now, is being affronted Mvungo mtu anarani Can you imagine that joke? Someday, I'll give a brief or detailed information. But ladies and gentlemen, it is high time we stood up. Ni tuiruanida, nge guanga. Ni tu some saba, ntu ni bama nyaruachi, nsei no kuchuka. Ni tu pataba gamba bugami, ntu wagira gundi, owa wagira gundi. Na yomu ntu na manya ruachi, owa wagira gundi. Omu ntu na manya, ntu omu solo goba ungezo munje, nyoba guongeza ruansonge mu, omuli mu, aba buya buya, bebali mkugua, ni baku eredi, ni baku za nyisa. Aba ntu wagulida muama motoka, agobu eredi. Ngatabena na chiba kuzi. Until we teach our people. About to tell Jacob, sit to Kirawamu, Quegata, Kureta, we it was a word. Because that is not an independent country. That is slavery. We are not yet independent. Ngatetu Kirizi Wakuba Koche to Ogera. My name is Father Meon Soga. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.